welcome back to our channel what shall I make this time hmm I first need to remove my makeup and I will do that with a lotion wipe I'm going to protect my eyebrows and I will put on a, a wig cap and I will do that off camera so I'll be right back hello I was in a silly mood, sorry. Um, I protect my eyebrows with some Comfort Bomb Wax from Makeup and some setting powder from Meron. And let me show you quickly the headpiece that I'm going to put on in the end of the video. I made this out of Christmas ornaments, a glue gun, LED lights and a headband. Um, I used some Meron Skin Prep as a protective shield between my skin and the paint. And the paint I'm going to use is from Chameleon. And it's the color Camouflage. So I will load up a man brush. Um, I hear you ask, is she naked? No, I'm not. I have my Star Wars top on. So I apply the green. And note to self, use a sponge next time for a more even look. I really struggled with getting this color even. I think I used in total two or three layers of the green, but the end result is quite nice. So 2018 guys, it flown by so fast and it's time to reflect and time to look ahead with this Christmas spirit of the future. And she is simple but pretty while I'm applying another layer of green. This is the next color I'm gonna use. It's from Superstar. It's the color Peacock, but um, I need to use some barrier spray from Meron first. So I will do that right now. Focus camera. Ooh, I look so. <laughs> use the blow dryer to speed it up. The drying process and I'm going to use a huge punch that I cut in half and this is the pattern that it's going to give and then I just press on the collar it's really really nice it gives a nice metallic shimmer anyway you guys I want to say thank you all for tagging along in my journey of the wonderful world of makeup and I hope you continue your support in 2019. And um, yeah, well, again, thank you. So I use multiple layers of the green. My dog is acting silly again, trying to get the attention of mommy. <laughs> Mommy's busy. See how nice the light onto the shoulders a shimmer singing Christmas songs yay and then I use an iridescent color to get some more shimmer I can't remember uh, what the color uh, color name is um the label with the color on it is uh, worn out. I couldn't, I couldn't see what it was. So sorry for that. Then I use some highlighter, just some regular highlighter on the collarbone, on the shoulders. We need to sparkle. See, that's so pretty. Color room. Yes. I'm getting somewhere. Okay. And then I have some more Christmas ornaments and I'm gonna glue them on my chest. See where I want them to be. My camera is a bit high, so you can't probably see it. I use a prosade, of course, to apply it with and a little sponge so just holding it till it stays put it fell off a couple of times so I had to glue it back on 
<clears throat> it's quite it was a quite heavy ornament <laughs> but in the end it you know it stayed put it's a, a nice big snowflake again a layer of prosade and I press it onto my chest you will see that how it looks a little bit later on like that just pressing it pressing it voila here we have it and it fell off again now it's time for the face I'm going to use a light colored foundation stick and I will blend it into my skin with a sponge. You can use any foundation you want with this look. Nice pale skin, that's what I wanted. So I'll use the setting powder from Meron to set everything. I'm looking for something. Ah, uh, probably a brush. Yes. And set the foundation. Oops, a bit too much powder. Silly faces. Um, then my camera shut down, and um, uh, I used some green um, eyeshadows to put around to frame my face, and I used some a green lip gloss because it needs to be sticky. It needs to be sticky because I'm going to put some cosmetic glitters on it. Don't use a regular glitter because that's too sharp for your skin. So use cosmetic glitters. They are safe to use around your eyes and your mouth. So that's why we need the lip gloss. The glitters need to stick. Look at that sparkle. Then uh, the eyepieces. I made the eyepieces with a glue um, that I just uh, drizzled onto my uh, face cast and then peeled it off and you have this nice makeshift uh, prosthetic. I'm going to use some pure white from Chameleon to white out my eye area. And I use a titanic brush, looking very charming. Like that. Then I will set everything with the Chameleon Second Dimension palette number two, and of course the white. And then I use some white mascara. hide the color of my skin. I'm going to apply the prosthetics with uh, some prosade. Just a thin layer above my eyebrow and on my cheek and just press it down. That's a pretty cool effect. I can see through it, kind of. <clears throat> it's already pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, the wig. The wig. The wig. Where's the wig? Where's the wig? I, I need a wig. Here she is. A beautiful green little pixie wig. So, I did it. Put it on off camera. So, here we have it. Put on uh, the headpiece and we're done. So, that's it. Happy holidays and see you soon. Bye.